We're going to use what ingredients? What what goes in milk? Butter. Cheese. 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 Milk. milk. Where does milk first? Where does milk come from? Cows. 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 So we get the milk. We get the milk. We're going to make what with it? Cheese. 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 We're not making butter. We've done that before. Butter. What we're going to do, we've got to get this milk up to 190 degrees. Okay? Is that boiling? Yes. Think about it. What were the temperatures for boiling? Think back. 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, I have a thermometer here. It has both Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm going to put it, let's see if I can get it where you can see it. There. All right, right now we are at 140 degrees. See how it keeps going? We've got to get it over here in between the 180 and the 200, right? That makes it at 190. Now, I am going to add, because it, it needs a little bit of calcium, so I'm, asking, I'm adding a little bit of calcium. Okay, that's it. Now, that, is it still going to stay a liquid? Yeah. Yes. All right, it's going to stay a liquid. I'm going to have to stir it so we don't want it to scorch, okay? But right now it's going to stay this liquid. Afterwards, what am I going to add to it? What did I say we were going to add to it? It was a type of acid. Oh. It's an acidy stuff. It's white or it's clear. Vinegar. 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 Right about, maybe about a fourth of a cup. About. Now, after we add that together, I have to do something else. Because what, what do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen when I put the acid in here? Or the vinegar? Oh, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to start bubbling up. Okay, maybe it's going to start bubbling up. What do you think? It's going to yellow. Might turn yellow. Okay, Q. What do you think is going to do? Um, it might. The temperature might get higher and higher. You think it might get higher? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes when we add another uh, substance to one, it will change the temperature and make it hot. Um, I add salt to my water because it helps get the temperature hot. We can also add salt to ice, and it'll make it cold. Yeah. I know. We tried that before. We have, haven't we? Okay. All right, so we're now up to, where are we at? Can y'all read that? No, no it's still blurry. Is it blurry? blurry? Turn, off the light. Turn, turn, the, turn the lights off. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, oh. See that? Yeah, see, that's too dark. We need the lights back on. No, look at No, I can't see it. Really? Molly said that. Just give it a second. 175? See, it's got a little bit, it's got some steam on it. You can see where it's at. It's about 170 right now. Can you zoom it in a little bit? Well, I'm already pretty zoomed in, so you can't see the milk. Let's see. I can see the milk in the milk. There you go. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Oh! Sorry. What happened to that See if it comes back. It will. Give it a chance. It will. Okay. So it's it's still like 175. I just don't want to get it over the 190, okay? Because 190 then it does something different to the milk. What? You know, different temperatures. Right now we're adding the heat, and look, is it still liquid? Yes, it's still, yeah. still a liquid, okay? I know it's it's thinking. It's changing the oh, form. We're going to camera, right? Yeah. All right, we're at 180. It's almost there. So what I'm going to do is here is, here's a measuring cup, all right? Measuring cups, how much is, how much is here? How much can I measure? I can measure a one cup. But look, remember how y'all talked about fractions? Yeah. Down here, I can, if I do it to here, it's only halfway up, so it's a half a cup. I'm going to do half of a half. One fourth. One fourth. Good job. So I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of vinegar. And you're going to have to watch. Right now, you can see there's a little bit of bubbles. Yeah. Right? I think, it, I think it came from that um, thing. That well, the bubbles are from, yeah, from the heat. It does that. Okay? Now, I'm going to let it. Um, it's getting over the 180 now, right? Yeah. Almost. All right. Let's see it. 
About one, a little bit over. About a fourth. What is about? Does it have to be exactly? No, no. It's in, it's in, it's in, close. Estimate. An estimate. A good close to. Because it might need a little oh. bit more. Um. All right. I am going to turn it off because it's about there. Okay. Because it's still going to stay hot. All right. All right. Let me see if I can get some of these bubbles to go away. And let me get this so we can watch on here for later. There's everybody. All right. Okay. Let me see. I wish I could hold this camera in my hand. All right. Y'all ready? I'm going to pour it in here slowly. Make sure it gets to all the areas. Oh, it looks like it's exploding, doesn't it? Yes. All right. Now, I am going to move it a little bit. See how you can see what it's doing? It's turning cheesy, right? Yeah. It's turning cheese. It is. That's how you make cheese. See how it's starting? You can see it's getting more solid. Look how it's separating there. Okay? All right. Anybody remember a nursery rhyme called Little Miss Muffet? Eating her. That's what this is. That yellow part that you're seeing is the way. These are the curds. Now, I could separate this, and I could make cottage cheese. This is one way to make cottage cheese. Okay? And I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer, because we want it to get as many of the curds as it can. Then what do, I, what do you think I need to do after that? Turn off the temperature. Well, I've already, I've already, I'm going to take it off of there, but what do I have to do with this part here? Take it out. I have to take it out. Can we make, is it cheese yet? No. It's curds. It's got curds. See, there's curds. You can use some curds. Okay. All right. Let me see, let me set this camera up. Because we're going to do it from this table right here. All right, hold on. Um... I don't know how to. Okay. Oh, looky, right there. Okay. You just have to make sure I don't get in the way and that you don't hit this. Okay. You guys can scoot in. Okay. I. You need to be away from the camera part. Okay. She's fine. Just scoot down some. All right. This is what I'm gonna do. Y'all gonna have to get over there because you won't be able to see right here. I'm gonna get something because I'm gonna strain it. I'm gonna strain it. So I, I need something to get the liquid part. It's a some kind of spoon. So I'm gonna use this. Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna put it in there. All right. So if it spills. Well, and you guys right here, whenever I get to a certain part, you will have to scoot back. Oh, be careful because I'm going to need that. All right. So I'm going to strain it. All right. You'll, you're, you're, you're fine because I'm going to lift it up. See? Kind of looks like what? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Okay? That's where, that's what happens. That's how it starts. So I guess does all cheese? Could we say maybe all cheese starts kind of like cottage cheese? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Probably. We're pretty close to it. He's fine. He's fine. All right. I'm doing the first one now. If I there's another way I can make cheese. I can use rennet, and it makes it a bigger a bigger, and you leave it longer, and it it um it makes where I can cut it actually and make little squares. I, we don't have time to do that. We're doing the farmhouse ones that some farmers can do in one day and have cheese for that morning. You know, the mom can get up, she can get some milk, she can get some vinegar, and she can make some cheese for the family.
Remember how we talked about in some places, this is the, whatever they have is what they can end up using or eating, remember? They can't just always go to the store. Waste the money. Well, they, remember some of them don't have money. All right. So I'm going to, you guys are going to scoot back now. Because I'm going to pour it. And I don't want it to splash on y'all. Because it's hot. It's really hot. and boys okay all right I can't just leave it like that either no. so what I'm gonna do is this I have this and I'm gonna use it for a second now the only thing I didn't do with the other classes is I'm gonna add, go ahead and add some salt I'm gonna try it a little bit different than what I did before okay. and it is some cheese salt no, it, it will be ready in about an hour. Okay? Uh, two o'clock? I'm, I'm putting that in there. Can we eat it tomorrow? We're going to have it today. With yes. a yes. All right. Now, <laughs> this part right here is called the way. This part right here is the part that they dry out and, and you hear like whey protein helps build muscles. Well, on farms, guess what they do with it? They feed it to their animals. They, they feed it to the pigs to fatten them up. <laughs> because it still has nutrients in it. Some people, they put it on their flowers. We're going to put it on our flowers out here. Not all of them, because we're going to make sure then you can stand up. Okay? Or probably I can sit on my knees. Stop. Okay? We're going to try it on a couple of plants out there and see if it helps the plant grow. Okay. Maybe it will. We don't want to put it on all of them because if it doesn't work, what would happen to all our God plants? We don't want that to happen. But I have seen that some farmers use it on their plants. Now, this is hot. Um, can I help you? What no, is the no, I'm doing this because it is hot. Okay. All right. Yeah. What? Like the stick. You, you the stick. I'm going to have yeah. to. I'm going to tie this together. Okay. Oh, so I can it up with the stick. With the stick. Exactly. Okay. Who said that? Oh, yes. Only so you have to wear an umbrella. Oh, look at I that. I probably yeah. shouldn't. It wouldn't burn me so much, but that's what okay. He's going to carry. That's what I just said. All right. Katie. All right. And I can hold it like that. Oh, look look oh, what happens. It looks like a sack. Now, it yeah. does look like a sack. A a cheap. Like a hobo sack. That's, That's an right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put it here. And we're just going to let it sit. It, see how it will drain? What? Listen, here's a question for you. What's helping it come out? What is helping the liquid come out of the cheese? The water that you put in it. Okay, but what force is helping the liquid come down? Gravi whenever the gravity, because the thing is pushing it and all nope. the water is yeah. coming out. Right, okay, yeah. gravity yeah. is pulling it out, right? That's what happens. The gravity, that's why it's not sitting up there. Gravity makes everything come down to the earth. So we're going to let it sit like that, okay? If we didn't have gravity, we would float. We would float everywhere, okay. All right, eyes here. Every noise is on here, so please stop, okay? We're going to let that sit here. I also have tortillas, because what is today? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. And my cousin's birthday. Okay. Yours, I've already, we've already got two, we've already got about a pound and a half of cheese done. This one will be done after you already leave, okay? So that's why... I, you're going to get some of the other cheese. I'm going to, we're going to heat up some of the tortillas, and that way you can try this cheese. Remember, I know you guys are used to cheddar cheese, Velveeta cheese. White this is not like that. This is a farm cheese. It's a cheese that you can make. How long did it take me to make that? 20 minutes? 
Now hours? it's going to sit for like an hour. I'm going to let it sit and drip out, and then we're going to we're going to use a force on it. What can I do to make it squeeze out a little bit more and mash together? Oh, good. the heat is going to um, smash it to something like. Yeah. What could I use? Am I going to? What What could I use? Um, a plate. Okay, I can use a plate. Okay. If I just set it on the plate, is it going to help splash no, it out? No, no. What do I do need to do you then? Have to press. Need to press it. I have to use some type of force that's going to push on it, right? There's another one of those forces we've learned about. See, do you see how all of these kind of go with what we've taught this year? Even people in the rainforest do this. You know, if they're way out there, they can't get to a store. Now, there's another thing that we could use, another thing we learned about this year, that I, I could buy it. And it costs like three hundred dollars. But you know what? I'm not. I don't have three hundred dollars. I could buy one for like one twenty-five, but I don't have one twenty-five either. But there's something I can use that would actually work. That would actually. Here, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay. That would actually press down on it. Okay. Do y'all think? Y'all remember? I'm not going to use electricity, so I'm going to make what? If I make something that's going to help me get work done quicker or easier, it's called a what? Simple machine. A simple machine. Do you know which simple machine would help press it? Yes. Which one? A lever. A lever. Okay. I can build one to where it will press on it for about $10. So would it be... If I don't have the money, that would be the cheapest way. Our cheapest way is me putting a gallon of milk on top of it and maybe adding a little bit more weight and a little bit more weight. But it's got to have in the end about 20 pounds to press it together good. Okay? All right. So this is our cheese, and then we will show it a little bit later.